Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be talking about how you guys can get all 21 of the Perungo Dragon Balls for this year's Tanit Battle Celebration on the JP side of the game. Now, a quick uh, overview for those of you that haven't experienced one of these campaigns before. Basically, starting from the first day of the campaign, which is today, June 30th, until the end of the campaign, one new Dragon Ball will become available every single day. And in game, there will be a clue that gives you a general idea of how to collect that ball. But the issue is that a lot of JP players uh, can't read Japanese, right? So that's where this video comes in to make sure that you guys don't miss any of the balls, that you're able to collect all 21 and make your three sets of wishes. Oh, before I forget, I just want to clarify that you don't have to worry about missing any of the Dragon Balls as long as the Tanabata campaign is still going. So let's say, for example, um, it's a couple of weeks into the campaign and you didn't collect all the balls that came out previously, you can still collect them retroactively. So in theory, you can collect all 21 of the Dragon Balls, you know, at the same time or like on the same day. It's just that you can't collect any Dragon Balls that haven't been released yet. So yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. Right now we are on the Dokkan Wiki, which is what I usually use for these videos. But the problem here is that they only have the first clue for the one star Dragon Ball of the first set. So uh, if you guys haven't received this ball yet, then all you gotta do is Z awaken a character and you're good to go. I'm sure most of you probably already got this by accident. So that is the first Dragon Ball for the first set, which is available right now, June 30th, 2022. Now for the remainder of the Dragon Balls, we have to pop over to the Twitter page of Harry Turney, who has provided us with the translations for all of the other missions. So a big shout out to Harry Turney for that. Really, really appreciate it. So, uh, now that you have the 1 star Dragon Ball, moving on to the 2 star Dragon Ball for set 1, which is available on July 1st, you have to use 77 stamina, and that's it. So just consume 77 stamina in any way, whether it be Dokkan event, or story mode, or whatever, and you'll get the second Dragon Ball for set 2. Now for the third Dragon Ball, which is available on July 2nd, you have to clear any stage once with at least one Bonds of Parent and Child category character on your team. Now this of course is the new category led by the uh, LR Gallic Gun, Trunks, and Vegeta, but you don't have to have that unit, you just need to have a unit from the new category Bonds of Parent and Child, clear a stage, and uh, you'll get the third Dragon Ball for set 1. Moving on to the fourth Dragon Ball, which is available on July 3rd, you have to clear any stage once with a full mono team. So basically, any team with characters of all the same type, right, mono team, so all STR team, or all AGL team, all tech team, so on and so forth, clear a stage, and you'll get your uh, fourth Dragon Ball for set one. Actually, you know what? I'm not... 100% sure about this one because it says full mono team, which to me means all of the same type, right? But at the same time, in brackets, it says all types here. So I don't know if it wants you to, you know, run a mono team or a rainbow team. So I would just try both. Like if you run a mono team with all the same type, like all AGL or whatever, and you don't get the Dragon Ball, then you can try a rainbow team with all five types, right? So one unit uh, that's an AGL type, tech type, is type, STR type, and int type, and run a stage. And uh, one of those attempts should get you this Dragon Ball. So yeah, a little bit confusing here, but just try those and uh, you should be fine. Now for the fifth Dragon Ball, which is available on July 4th, you have to clear Study Hard, Play Hard, Turtle Schools Intensive Training once, which is, of course, the event with, uh, you know, Roshi, Kid Goku, Kid Krillin, 
and a slightly boosted rate for link level increases that's available once per day. Clear that stage and you'll get your fifth Dragon Ball. Now for Dragon Ball number six of set one, which is July 5th, go to friend summon and perform one summon. So just do a summon on the friend banner and you're good to go. And then for the seventh and final Dragon Ball for the first set, which is July 6th, you have to increase your link level, link skill level once. So um, this is just something that can happen naturally when you're doing an event, right? Or go into like stage 23-8 and do a run, you should get at least one link level increase. If you want to make sure it's guaranteed, then just bring a bunch of units with, you know, level one links so you can get a couple and uh, you'll get your seventh Dragon Ball for set one, which completes the first set and allows you to summon Purunga for the first time, choose three wishes, and then uh, you can move on to the second set from there. So starting with the second set on July 7th, for the first ball, you have to click on the secret banner image, which you can find at the end of the bottom images on the home screen. So you know where you uh, can see like the character wheel for your team? At the bottom, there's these little banners that are scrolling by, right? So one of those will be a special banner with most likely, uh, if I remember correctly, before it was either a Dragon Ball or a bunch of stars. Click on that one and you'll get your first ball for set two. For the second ball for set two, which is going to be on July 8th, you have to Doken Awaken any character once. So perform a Doken Awakening for you know, a summonable unit, or maybe if you don't have any units to Doken Awaken, then just get a free-to-play unit from a story event and Doken Awaken them, and you'll get your second Dragon Ball. For the third ball of set 2, which is uh, July 9th, level up any super attack once. If you don't want to waste the Kai, then just do it for a free-to-play unit, and you'll get your third Dragon Ball. And then for ball 4 of set 2, which is July 10th, clear any stage with at least seven Rainbow Key Spheres collected during the boss battle. So I guess the easiest way to do this would just be to go into like a Dokkan event. And if you wanna, you know, ensure that you get at least seven, then bring a Rainbow Orb Changer and uh, clear the event and you're good to go. So that is ball number four for set two. For ball number five, which is gonna be available on July 11th, purchase goods at Baba's shop with trade points. So just purchase anything that's available in the Baba shop, um, you know, with the uh, purple coins or Baba points, and you'll get your fifth Dragon Ball for set two. Now moving on to ball number six, which is uh, available on July 12th, you have to clear a stage in under one minute. So just choose a, you know, relatively quick stage, uh, like the study hard, play hard, turtle school intensive training one is actually really good for that. And uh, yeah, if you clear it in under a minute, then you'll get your sixth Dragon Ball. And for the seventh and final ball of set two on July 13th, use a Senzu Bean. That's it, just the support item, I'm assuming. Just go into a stage and make sure you have the Senzu Bean support item equipped, obviously. Use the item the stage and that's it so that is uh the seventh and final dragon ball for set two you can now summon purunga for the second time make three wishes and uh we'll move on to the final the third and final set now of dragon balls for this campaign so starting on july 14th with the first ball of set three you have to collect one incredible gem so i'm assuming that means one or more, you don't have to specifically collect one. Um, and I think the easiest way to do this would be to just go into story mode and choose a stage where uh, you know that there's gonna be one of those like glowing tiles that gives you a gem, like 27.3 for example, is a good stage. Or if you like run into a peel off or a launch on the map, you fight them, they'll also give you gems. You clear the stage and uh, you'll be able to get that first ball for set three. For the second ball of set three, which is July 15th, tap the scouter on the top right corner of the summon screen. So basically just go to any banner and check out the scouter, check out the featured units, and you'll get your second ball. For ball number three, which is July 16th, 
collect at least seven int key spheres and clear a stage. Pretty simple. If you need to bring an orb changer and uh, like an orb changing unit or an orb changing item, collect your seven int key spheres, clear the stage, and that is the third Dragon Ball. Now for the fourth ball, which is July 17th, use a team of all the same type. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this means that it has to be, you know, either a super team or an extreme team, like all super type units or all extreme type units, or if it means it's all units of the same attribute, like AGL or tech or STR or whatever, right? So. Um, I would start by trying a mono team first, right? Like all SDR units, all Fizz units, or whatever, and see if that works. And if it doesn't, then run a full extreme team or full super team. And uh, one of those should get you this fourth Dragon Ball. So do a little trial and error, because uh, I'm not 100% sure which one it is, and uh, you should be fine, okay? So that is the fourth Dragon Ball for set three. For the fifth ball, which is available on July 18th, use any of the support memories once. So from what I can tell, it just means use literally any support memory you want. So just do that and uh, you'll get that fifth ball. For the sixth ball of set two, or sorry, uh, set three. Sixth ball of set three, which is July 19th, clear any stage without taking any damage. Now a good stage for that would be something like the B-Pan event where she doesn't attack you, but there's other stages where the enemy is just really easy and as long as there's no attack before you get to attack, then you'll be able to clear the stage without taking any damage. Now keep in mind, if you take damage from a damage tile, that still counts as taking damage. So try to avoid those as you go along the map. And uh, yeah, that is the sixth uh, Dragon Ball for set three. And last but not least, we have the seventh and final ball of set three, which is the last Dragon Ball we're gonna talk about because it's the last one that's available for this campaign. Uh, available on July 20th, clear any stage with at least one Time Traveler's category character on your team. Pretty self-explanatory. You just gotta use a team that has at least one Time Traveler's category character, clear a stage, and uh, that's it. Then you can summon Purunga for the third time, make your wishes, and that will conclude the Purunga campaign for Tanabata 2022. Those are all the uh, things you have to do to collect all 21 of the uh, Dragon Balls. Hopefully this video helped you guys at least a little bit in getting some of those balls that you were maybe missing. And uh, that's all I gotta say guys. Good luck. Have fun, hope you enjoy the Tanabata celebration. Before we go, one final shout out to Harry Turney for posting this. It really helps a lot. And uh, that's it guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.